Hi, and welcome to a locked down North London allotment. It's a bit windy out there, so I'm sitting inside so you can hear me. You might be able to just hear the wind there. It's a lovely day otherwise. Sunny, um, not cloud in the sky really. Very few fine clouds, so it's a nice day. So what has changed since we went into official lockdown? Well, as I came in today, the barrier was across the car park for the park and allotments, so you can't drive in anymore. I know they're trying to deter people from taking their cars out if not necessary so I'm guessing that's one of the things and um, there was a debate on one of the Facebook groups just in the last couple of days about whether you're allowed to drive to your allotment to your exercise and there's belief that it's okay if it's local but obviously if there is an accident or something you're putting a strain on the services also the roads need to be kept clear and I think they just want us to stay indoors don't they as much as possible um, so I have driven today. I was thinking about walking, but I thought I'd drive and see what the situation is. So if I want to bring the children up tomorrow, it's much easier to bring them in the car and keep them away from people because there's still are people walking, not so much this time on a Saturday morning, but it is easier to avoid them if you've got a car, especially kids who don't quite sorry got interrupted by a phone call then um yeah especially children who don't really understand social distancing um and keeping your hands to yourself uh we've got we're in a flat so we've got a shared door so my daughter used to open the door when she was going to school and i've like trained her not to touch it now just in case and there's so much to worry about these days isn't there and that's why we come to the allotments not just for our exercise and our food but to leave our worries at the gate which is what i do really so what has changed apart from the fact cars come can't come in now they've turned the water on early here so we can wash our hands although they have said obviously don't do it in the tank do it in the free-flowing tap and to bring your own soap so today i have brought a bar of soap in a plastic bag to wash my hands particularly want to wash my hands before lunch um what else i've done i've added a couple of things my last video was on getting ready for lockdown I'm still not convinced they're going to let us keep coming here because some people are still not getting social distancing. Um, there's been a lot of stories like certainly younger groups out. It's really hard for them not to see their friends. Um, and so I'm not convinced they're going to let us keep coming here. So I'm everything I'm doing, I'm keeping in mind I might not be able to come back as often as I would like. So to that end, I've carried on with my lockdown prep. I have used that huge bit of weed membrane to cover a very kind of like patchy weedy area. I will show you in a minute. I've also put my seed onions in trays and under a net. Ironically, after all that rain from October, most of March, we haven't had rain since, so it's quite dry at the moment. So I'm just putting a bit of water on them. Hopefully they'll be okay. Today I aim to get the rest of my potatoes in. I've got about half of my Bluebell and Sarpo Mira from JBA Seed Potatoes. They're left to go in. I think it's going to be about six rows, so I better get busy because that needs to be done. Oh, 
maybe it doesn't want to go in there. from beneath. What I'm also going to do as the soil is not conducive to covering the potatoes, I'm going to put a skin of compost and then I'm going to try and cover them up, uh, them up a bit so they don't come back and the frost comes and hopefully they won't be too large. I need more space so I've been um, pulling back more weed membrane and um, digging it over because there's brambles, there's docks and I've just disturbed some ants so I'm going to give them some time to like get under the ground and have a cup of tea while I wait for them. I am done for the day, that's all the potatoes in now so the Sarpo mirror are in. I didn't get more wood chip um, because where I had dug up that big kind of hillock and taken the rubbish out, there was some nice soil there, so I just mounded it up. 
and also I've pulled back the weed brain, weed brain, <laughs> weed membrane that I had moved um, just to cover it over again um, because it's there. Um, might as well cover it up. Um, it's very windy, so what I will probably do is just do a little almost silent tour. So if um, it, when I play back, if it's too windy, I can just take the sound out because you do not want to be listening to that. So I'll just give you a quick tour of things that have changed. So um, qu almost a quarter of the plot I've covered with the big bit of weed membrane down this end, the potatoes and anything else I think of. Onions. They, the birds do get them but I did have my two-year-old didn't quite get the idea of how to do this there we go 200 I think it was in the end no 250 250 onions don't want to run out this year and here we go oh yes this is what's new the cold frame it was um my only panic buy <laughs> because I wanted one at the beginning of March and I couldn't justify it. And then this all kicked off and I thought, mm, I can justify getting one now. So this is from Aldi, it's cheap, but it's very flimsy. So we'll see how it goes, but it's great to have somewhere to kind of decant plants to. Oh, look, got flowers. Now, I would imagine the frost will get those first flowers. It's nice to see something anyway. Um, this bed, when I take the broad bean out, is going to be my son's little kind of mud kitchen grow area. And then this where the cabbages and the grasses is going to be my daughter's um, bed for growing her plants. So this is all covered up because it was it's just too much to worry about at the moment. Did a bit of digging there the other day on the two-piece strawberry bed and put some mustard the seed down. I've been eating this broccoli, but only my husband likes this white flowering broccoli because it's like overcooked Brussels sprouts, which he seems to like, but none of us do, so he's getting all the white broccoli. And we're going for the purple. Some of which I think we can take home today. wildlife area and the kingdom of potatoes all the way down here until next time stay safe stay healthy keep gardening